Good morning, welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be exploring some of the best spiritual crystal shops here in the Fort Myers, Naples area in Florida, where I am currently staying. I'm pretty excited to be here. Last summer, I posted a video about the best crystal shops in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And since then, I've always wanted to kind of commute and travel to different cities and states and make the same concept in different states. I wanted to do it in Arizona, and I did include it a little bit in my Arizona vlogs, but this is the first like full crystal shopping in another state video that I'm doing, so definitely give this video a thumbs up. Battery died because I've been vlogging so much while on this trip, so definitely watch the Florida travel vlog if you haven't already. But as I was saying, definitely give this video a thumbs up if the best types of crystal shops in different states and cities is something that you would want to see as a viewer. And if you do enjoy it, please subscribe because I am doing my best this year to travel so that I can give you guys that content. So I'm really excited to be doing that video here in Florida right now. Today, as I mentioned, we are heading to Naples to check out two crystal shops. And then tomorrow, I'll be heading into Fort Myers downtown area and we will look at a lot more. So I'm very excited. With all of that being said though, let's go crystal shopping. After a quick late brunch over at Poached, I needed to fuel up a little bit before heading out. We are going to our first crystal shop of the video, which is, what is it? <laughs> which is the mystical moon here in Bonita Springs, Florida. It is on the way down to Naples, so I thought might as well stop by and then we'll stop at another one in Naples. And then the plan is tomorrow to hit a few up in Fort Myers. So I'm trying my best to really hit a few crystal shops in different cities that I'm close to. So far, I'm scoping out the area where I am for you as best as I can. So Bonita Springs, Fort Myers, and Naples. Here we come, starting off with mystical moon right here in Bonita Springs. We just made it, I'm really excited. The reviews of this place on Google Maps seem to be pretty positive, so I'm excited to check it out. And I guess we'll see if it's worth visiting down here in Bonita Springs, Florida. goodness score I was not expecting to go that hard when I'm traveling and I'm filming these crystal videos I'm thinking you know I might buy a couple little souvenirs um no I restocked I was out of a few candles that I needed some herbs for some spells that I've been meaning to do I got a fun tarot deck they had this zodiac chapstick and I don't have chapstick with me right now so I was like might as well I spent $150 not going to lie and I cannot wait to show you what I got because my gosh mystical moon in Florida has really really good prices I've been to so many spiritual shops from Minneapolis Michigan Arizona California Florida some places are very very overpriced Scottsdale overpriced. Minneapolis, some places overpriced. Here in Bonita Springs, Florida, cheap, but like quality. I'll have to do a huge haul later when everything isn't wrapped, but huge towers for like $12. So many types of crystals that are hard for me to find where I'm from that are here, so affordable and huge pieces. Oh, huge Howlite sphere. I forget how much, but it a lot cheaper than expected and a lot cheaper than most spheres where I'm from. Could not resist, got a ton of goodies. I'll show you a few that aren't wrapped. I got this evil eye bracelet. This is the chapstick that I was talking about. Here are all the candles that I needed. I go through candles pretty quick, not going to lie. I do a lot of candle rituals and I find them helpful. Oh my gosh, these little blue obsidian pieces. And then this celestial tarot deck. I really like it because along with the traditional tarot cards, they have different like planets, stars, and stuff that correlate with each card on top. A lot of them I have memorized, you know, like the lover's card associates with the Gemini, the emperor card associates with the Aries, the star 
Aquarius, but it's nice to have a deck where everything is there so I can learn more. I have so many other goodies in here I can't wait to show you. Highly recommend Mystical Moon. They also have an awesome rewards program, which spiritual shops don't always do. I don't think any by my house offer that, so I already earned myself $10 if I go to the other location. That was a really great experience. I can't believe I spent that much. Was not expecting to, but oh my gosh. The next crystal shop that we are heading to is Goddess I Am Healing and Meditation Center in Naples. It's really close to the downtown Naples area as well as beachfront access. So I think I might stop by the beach after this crystal shop, but it looks pretty good. So give me 30 minutes in the car and I'll see you there, which I really don't mind because on vacation, especially with what's going on right now, driving is so therapeutic, especially with palm trees and sun and good music and and a sweet rental car that I've got to put some use to. So I'll see you in Naples. Just made it. Honestly, that was such a beautiful drive driving into Naples. Didn't even feel like half an hour, but I'm excited to be here. So let's go check it out. shop this place is really cute it's a lot bigger inside than I was expecting there's a whole side room that you can't really see from pictures on Google reviews or like from the front door they had a lot of more like dark divination tools that some spiritual shops may not have they also had a ton of herbal supplements and spices and things like that which was helpful because I was looking for passion flower and I found that they had a ton of candles and incense and crystals I will say that here at Goddess I Am in Naples, the prices were a little bit higher than Mystical Moon and what I'm used to at home, but again, I'm in Naples now, so it sort of makes sense. I picked up a few items. Like I mentioned, I grabbed the Passion Flower Herbal. Well, here it's tea form, but I have more uses for it than just tea. For crystals, I controlled myself. I only got a couple. Raw piece of celestite, piece of yellow obsidian. I know these are probably man-made, but it's still cool. And then this is kunzite. I am such a sucker for kunzite. Kunzite to me works better than rose quartz. It's supposed to bring divine relationships into your life and it's known to be a bit rarer. So when you find kunzite and it's not insanely overpriced, please jump on it because it is a beautiful stone. The last thing that I got is a little tower of angelite. I love angelite. I got a ton of new angelite pieces in Arizona this last winter, but I don't have any towers of it. Angelite is a really awesome spiritual calming stone that helps you connect to your higher self, angels, psychic abilities, and all of that. Since I'm here in Naples, I think I'm going to go to the beach. If you want to see that, watch the Florida vlog, but I will see you in this video tomorrow when I head to Fort Myers for even more crystal shops. So I'll see you then. Good morning. It is now the next day, Saturday here in Fort Myers. Absolutely beautiful, perfect day. Just absolutely stunning. Cannot get over the palm trees. This afternoon, I'm actually heading more in like Fort Myers area to meet up with a subscriber named Sam. Before I do though, I'm going to stop at two more spiritual shops for this video. Oh, it's 11-11, 11-11. What divine timing that is. So I think the first one I'm heading to is Mystical Bookshop and then perhaps The Curious Cauldron and The Silver Witch. Either way, cannot go wrong. There are so many spiritual shops here in Florida, so I'm really excited to explore as many as I can. Why don't we head on over to our first stop, Mystical Bookshop. Just kidding, let's head to the Curious Cauldron first, then Mystical Bookshop, because after that I am heading down here to the beach with Sam, so it just makes more sense. Curious Cauldron, here we come. Not me rolling up to the Starbucks drive through listening to One Direction. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Half an hour and two Starbucks later, we have made it to the Curious Cauldron. I believe it is inside the Edison Mall. I can't see it from the outside. So we're gonna go explore, see how it is. Kind of fitting that I got a matcha because it does look like something that would belong inside a cauldron, right? Like the green. Anyway, let's do it. My gosh, that shop was awesome. Blew me away, they had absolutely everything I've needed. I haven't really mentioned this yet, but I do have a list of things that I am gathering for some rituals coming up. They even had a charcoal brick, which I have been looking for. Like this shop had it all, I swear. If you only have time for one shop here in the Fort Myers area, go over to the Curious Cauldron inside the Edison Mall. Best by far, such a diverse variety of items and so many cool things that I wish I had space for in my carry-on to purchase and they had really really good stones and crystals to choose from now there is inflation going on right now too so that might be why some of these more common stones are a bit more than other places like price wise the candles were exactly the same price as the other stores some of the common stones were a little expensive not even expensive just like five dollars when you know for like this big you could get them for three dollars elsewhere I got some goodies I'll show you a few for pendulums I usually create one of these on paper and it will work but this was so small only $13 and it has rephrase and maybe which I don't remember to write usually I'll do like numbers and stuff like that but this is really handy I'm glad I found that oh I got this really beautiful Sun and Moon evil eye that I'm excited to show you later everything else is wrapped but I'll do a full haul at the end of this video with all of the items out I just don't want to unwrap everything because I'm traveling with a carry-on so it'll be easier like this I have about an hour before Sam gets into the area, so let's head over to the Mystical Bookshop on the way down to the beach area and see what that store has to offer. I'm excited to check it out. It's only 12 minutes away, so let's do it. Head east. Okay. <laughs> Made it to Mystical Bookshop. Heads up, it was a little bit harder to find and it is next to this Dolls and Divas clothing store which looks a little spicy so I will not show you. <sighs> this is probably gonna be the last crystal shop of the video unless Sam and I also go to one this afternoon. So, cheers, let's do this thing. Once again, a spiritual shop just completely blew me away. Mystical Bookshop is such a sweet little find. It seems small and tucked away, but as soon as I opened the door, as you saw, I got greeted by their dog. It's so sweet. I think every single spiritual shop should come with animals. I really needed that puppy therapy, and he was such a good welcome committee. He kind of followed me around. He was so sweet. Although small, this store had such great finds. There were so many parts where I'm like, oh my God, that was meant for me to see. Like butterflies, love is love love rainbows and she had so many like unique things. I've mentioned this a few times in vlogs this year and definitely a lot in my journal, but 2022 since 
the new year, I have said, this is my year of the Phoenix. Like I am rising from the ashes this year and rebuilding myself. And I walk in and one of their local jewelry artists that they have here, I took a business card because I need to add it to my journal. Also, when I said this is my year of the Phoenix, I had no idea that I'd be like going to Arizona and Phoenix and having such a big pivotal part of my year there. But look at this. Here in Florida, Phoenix, sun creations, sun, like what? So I took that because it was such a beautiful sign and then butterflies are a big symbol for me too and there's one here and a ton in the shop. This store is so sweet, everything is wrapped. I got two little bracelets, one of Lapidolite and one of Rhodonite and then I have been seeing bald eagles, like bizarrely in Minnesota and here too and I never see eagles I saw an eagle over the highway in Minnesota that was really low and I was like no way and I saw like a full-on eagle and then the day that I landed here in Florida I was driving to my grandparents place and again I saw a huge eagle and they had little soapstone eagles here so I felt so called to get one it was only seven dollars so I got an eagle because I feel like I was I'm supposed to follow that overall again a successful store so this is in McGregory Florida I believe if you're nearby definitely check it out there are so many good books jewelries crystals tarot decks it's small but mighty and I really love the quote that was in the back of the store too because ugh, I've been struggling so much and I just really felt like this store helped me a little bit and the dog oh my god just a great experience I'm so happy I'm discovering all these new shops as you can tell it's just really increasing my energy and making this a beautiful day it's a few hours later I just finished hanging out with Sam who is so sweet here in Fort Myers Beach area and we did stop at one more crystal shop we went to the silver witch here against the shore I'm going to insert some clips of the store right now crystal shop unless you're already in the area to be honest it was just very small and touristy and they did not have a lot of stones but it was a beautiful store and had a lot of jewelry and pretty things I got this ear cuff there but if you're going looking for crystals and spiritual stuff this one was kind of a miss Sam the friend that I went with was looking for black tourmaline 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 and we found some but even the shop employee was like is that a green one like she didn't know which stone it was and then she said what does this one do so if you're looking for guidance and you want someone to help you I wouldn't recommend the silver witch it's more of just like a, a cute touristy jewelry store but it was still worth checking out and I'm glad that we went because I did get this ear cuff and Sam got a crystal that's just my honest review of it but I'm really glad that I got to go Anyway, it is 7 p.m. here in Fort Myers, so I'm gonna make the drive back home to my grandparents and I'll check in in a few days when I'm back home and we can do a full crystal haul of everything that I got. Welcome back to Minnesota. It is haul time, so finally I can share with you all the crystals that I got down in Florida. So, here's everything that I got. I split it by store, so we still have store number one, store number two, three and four. Let's get started. Marnie's going to help us with our haul, but over here on this side of the coffee table, we have everything I bought from the Mystical Moon, which I highly recommend as being the most affordable, not even just affordable, but just not overpriced crystal store. And they had a ton of options. I got this huge black tourmaline tower. I also got a little Caribbean calcite, this Howlite sphere, which was literally only $15. Like sometimes spheres can be very overpriced, so I could not pass that up. I got this little skyscraper tower of selenite. Again, just a really awesome crystal to have in various rooms of your home. I am so excited about this next crystal because it's actually a piece of candle quartz. It was only $8 and I've never heard of candle quartz. So if you haven't either, candle quartz is the crystal of the high priestess in tarot and it brings hope and comfort where there is unhappiness, pain, and hopelessness. It's the stone of rebirth in times of hardship. So I really do 
feel like this crystal found me at the perfect time when I needed it the most. Next, I got these two little pieces of blue obsidian. Blue obsidian is known to activate the throat chakra, so it's a great stone for communication. Next, I got this beautiful evil eye butterfly. This was only $15 as well, and then I got this beautiful evil eye bracelet. I also just grabbed some chapstick with my zodiac sign, the Gemini sign on it. I am definitely a big participant in candle divination, so I ran out of a few various colored candles that I needed for various rituals, so I just stocked up on those. I also needed this herb for something that I'm doing as well. And then I got a new tarot deck. This is Celestial Tarot. It's a beautiful deck because each card actually shows what planet or zodiac sign or something is associated with it. On the cover, this is the star card in tarot and this is Aquarius. So it really helps me learn even more about tarot because for the whole deck, there is something that associates with it. So like the hermit card is associated with Virgo, like 10 of swords has to do with air. There's mutable air, fixed air, like six of cups deals with Hercules. It is so cool to learn about. So I've been having a lot of fun at using that new deck. Moving on to Goddess I Am, which was the store in Naples. I needed passion flower for some rituals that I'm doing. And then I just grabbed some Celestite, which is one of my favorite crystals at the moment. This beautiful little angelite stone, a piece of yellow obsidian, and then Kunzite. Oh my gosh, I talk about this in a ton of crystal videos, but Kunzite is one of my favorite stones. I think it works better than rose quartz. It's known to help bring divine love and stability into your romance life but it's also a bit of a rarer stone and more valuable. So I always recommend when you come across Kunzite to take advantage of it, especially when you find it reasonably priced because it's a bit harder to find. It can be a bit expensive, but it's stunning, it's beautiful. So I picked up a little piece of Kunzite from Goddess I Am as well. The third store that I went to was called The Curious Cauldron. I loved this place, it was so fun. Also, all the crystals that I purchased, they put in this cute little bag, like how adorable is this? I really, really love that. I got this beautiful hanging evil eye piece with the sun and the moon. I needed some herbs, orris root and galangal. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. This is for pendulums. So I typically will just make my own on a piece of paper. I mean, usually I'll just use my palm if you use pendulums, you know, but if I'm looking for like times, numbers, names, or stuff like maybe and rephrase, I usually write it on a piece of paper, but this was really, really helpful full so I couldn't resist. I got this for my pendulums and then this charcoal brick which you can burn incense on. I'm using this for a ritual. The stones that I picked up which I'm super excited about. I didn't go too crazy but there were a few I could not resist like this stunning piece of desert rose selenite. I love desert rose but I do not have a piece this big so I could not resist. Then a little piece of raw kunzite. Again, my favorite stone. Kunzite's beautiful. Like I said, if you find it, take advantage of it, grab it. This is sardonyx. I hope I'm saying that right. This is really, really good for stability in relationships and marriage even. I love it. This is only my second piece of sardonyx agate. I have a really, really big sphere, but this is a great tumbled piece to like keep in my pocket and whatnot. And then I didn't know this existed, but this is black kyanite. No idea there was such thing as black kyanite. I love blue kyanite. Blue kyanite is awesome for communication, but when I saw this piece of black kyanite, I was so excited. I could not resist. Black kyanite helps bring calming energy to the body. It clears and calms you in preparation for meditation. It can help with intuition and psychic ability. It's a very healing stone for physical trauma, bone breakage, surgery, recovery, healing of all kinds. And even though all these crystals were wrapped in this little bag, they also wrapped it in tissue paper, which made me feel really good about keeping these little babies safe because anything that ends in ite typically is very fragile. Desert rose selenite, black kyanite, celestite, the ite in them, like they break easier. So you want to be really careful with that. And then the last store that I went to, the mystical bookshop, I didn't want to go too crazy so I was really really careful but I could not resist these two bracelets we have lapidolite and rhodonite two awesome stones for love honestly here you can read more about them but lately I've fallen in love with rhodonite and I have a lot of pieces of it again a stone that works much better than rose quartz in my opinion and then if you watch my Florida vlog you know the story behind this eagle but this was such a big sign
sign for me. I've been seeing a lot of eagles lately, so when I saw this soapstone eagle, I could not resist, especially when I saw the price. I think it was like $7, like super affordable. Even later that day, I went to go meet a friend and she brought up eagles and how eagles were such a big sign for her. And here I was like two hours earlier purchasing this little eagle to protect me. So that is what I got from that store. But overall, this is my spiritual shop, Crystal Hall. I'm so excited to put these new pieces away and use my new tarot decks and everything. It is always so exciting getting new crystals and spiritual items to put around my house. I'm just so grateful. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below a city or state that you would like to see me go to next. So far I have done this in Minneapolis. So definitely check out that video as well as Arizona. I went to, I think two or three, but I put that into my Arizona vlog. So definitely watch my Arizona vlog on that. And now Florida. So who knows where is next? Thanks for going crystal shopping with me. I will see you next week in my new video.